John Fanola, live in our newsroom with more. John? Rick, President Obama exuded disdain for Donald Trump today as he condemned him for his remarks in the aftermath of the Orlando nightclub massacre. The president delivered his tongue lashing without ever mentioning Trump by name. And tonight, Trump is firing back. I watched President Obama today, and he was more angry at me than he was at the shooter. Donald Trump tonight appearing to toy with President Obama. One of the folks on television said, boy, has Trump gotten under his skin. Referring to the president's sharpest comments yet on his candidacy. We now have proposals from the presumptive Republican nominee for president of the United States to bar all Muslims from emigrating to America. We hear language that singles out immigrants and suggests entire religious communities are complicit in violence. Where does this stop? Visibly angry, President Obama unleashing on Trump, accusing him of using fear to divide America. We've gone through moments in our history before when we acted out of fear, and we came to regret it. We don't have religious tests here. Our founders, our Constitution, our Bill of Rights are clear about that. Flanked by his National Security Council, Mr. Obama blasting GOP lawmakers for failing to get tough on terror while refusing to enact a ban on assault weapons, like the one used by the Orlando shooter. Reinstate the assault weapons ban. Make it harder for terrorists to use these weapons to kill us. A strategically choreographed round of condemnation, with Democrats echoing the refrain that Trump is temperamentally unfit to be president. To blame an entire religion for the acts of a single individual is nothing less than bigotry, and that is not what this country is supposed to be about. He went on TV and suggested that President Obama is on the side of the terrorists. This is way beyond anything that should be said by someone running for president of the United States. The president also responded directly to Trump's claims that he is weak on terrorism because he refuses to use the term radical Islam. The president said that Trump's claim is a distraction and that the phrase is a political talking point, not a strategy to defeat terrorists. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm John Finolio. Guys, send it back to you. All right, John, thank you.